oh, it's gonna be back. Stretch out a little bit. Welcome to News and Fuse. And you don't wanna miss this episode. We're gonna talk about Mr. Bill Clinton defending his woman. Also, don't eat beef in India. And at the end of this episode, you're gonna see probably what I think the craziest, dumbest story ever. Stay tuned. So a mob in India went to a man's house, drug him out to the street, and beat him to death. You know what for? Eating beef. 80% of the country is Hindu, and they don't eat beef for religious reasons. Now the other 20% is Christians and Muslims. They eat some beef. People are even trying to smuggle beef into different cities. Here's some meat you ordered. That is a rump roll. Oh, you didn't tell me you want a tri-tip. You got to pay extra for the tri-tip. You can't tell me, give me beef, and now you don't like it because I got a rump roll. You want to have a tri-tip. Come on. You already put me in danger, okay? You put me in a lot of danger. They taste not cool. Okay, I will get you the tri-tip. But if I get you the tri-tip, don't say, oh, no, I want the beef spare rib. No, you can't do that. If I get tri-tip, you take the tri-tip. Do you want it marinated? A hey, Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, who just came into power, is being increasingly intolerant to consuming or killing beef. I guess it'd be a bad joke to run up and down the street and say, where's the beef? I can't believe I got a real hamburger with real beef. Hey, McDonald's beef. Mm -hmm. Huh? No, there's no, no beef in here. It's just chicken patty, McDonald's, uh, and french fries too. No. Now you ask, what's going on with former President Bill Clinton, probably the coolest cat besides Barack Obama? Well, he's trying to defend his woman because Donald Trump is getting dirty. Now Bill Clinton is here to back up his boot because Mr. Donald Trump is taking swings at Hillary Clinton. Now Bill Clinton says Donald Trump is running a fact-free campaign. He don't know what the heck he's talking about. And he tried to back up his boo by saying, when she was Secretary of State, she's the one that imposes sanctions against Iran. Donald Trump says if you look at the tenure of Miss Hillary Clinton as Secretary of State, she's got to be the worst Secretary of State we have ever had. Them was fighting words, Bill. Get him, Bill. You don't be talking about Bill's woman like that. Bill's friends with the Crips and the Bloods. He'll take you out, Donald. Donald, you can't keep talking about my girl. I've got a lot of friends in the streets that can handle this business. You know, that's my boo, my beau. That's my woman. She's been down from day one. Just because you've got a, a good looking, beautiful wife. I mean, I, I, she's got a nice, she's really good looking. So um, I, I thought about her a lot, but my lady is loyal. Hillary's not bad. I mean, you should have seen her back in 78. She was real cute, 78. Does your wife have a sister? Cause I, I mean, she can tweet me. Uh, I'm on Twitter at uh, wildbill69. She can just type it right in and I'll respond. Trust me, I will respond. You do have a cute wife. Yeah, I, I got a little bit of a foot fetish and I saw her in sandals. I was like, wow, that pinky toe is a, it's a pretty pinky toe. She's got a pretty pinky toe. And I'm not mad at the big toe. Not mad at the big toe at all. Man, I miss being president. I could have any woman I wanted to back in the day and now I'm just a member of a country club. I need some excitement in my life. Okay, listen, I'm dead serious. I'm laughing. I can't stop. Don't make me laugh. I can't stop laughing at this story. Got to be the craziest, stupidest story on News and Fuse. Okay, so listen. It's a teenager. His name is Tashawn Granger in Chicago, Illinois. And he worked at McDonald's and he got fired. A lot of teenagers get fired from fast food jobs, but he didn't get fired for the reasons you think. He didn't burn the french fries or throw chicken nuggets across the room. No, he got fired because instead of putting a toy in the Happy Meal, he put his mixtape in there. He put it in this, this guy is golly. You have got to be kidding. Wow. I don't know if you heard me right. This guy put his mixtape. I, my eyes are watering. This is stupid. He put his mixtape in the Happy Meals. What the f Are you f oh. No, this guy burned mixtapes and he put them in Happy Meals. Like the audience is going to be the little kids and they're going to say, this is the jam, baby. This guy's stupid. All right, listen, to make things worse, okay, he's got the mixed CD, he puts it in the paper holder, he puts it in the Happy Meal, and guess what the name of the CD is? Rice and Sharpie, on the CD, Tales of a Real n I, If you don't understand what I said, it's right there. Can you believe this guy? Couldn't you at least do the radio edit? Are you serious right now? Couldn't you at least make it a little less rough, rugged, and raw? Make it kid-friendly, you putting it in the Happy Meal, are you serious? So Sarah Platt, a customer at McDonald's said, I'll open up the Happy Meal and as usual, I'm thinking this is a kid's CD. 
So I put the CD in and listened to it, and Lord have Jesus on Tashan's soul. It was the weakest mixtape I ever heard. It's believed that Tashan has been sneaking this mixtape into Happy Meals for the last two weeks. They estimated 300 Happy Meals got to Sean's mixtape. Oh, 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 oh. The Chicago McDonald's also said, oddly, no one else reported this except for Mrs. Sarah Platt. So they believe that some people actually enjoyed the mixtape. This gotta be in the hood. Come on, you serious? This gotta be in the hood. You do this in the suburban area, someone's gonna complain. Now, I thought the CD was gonna be Michael Buble, but it was good old to Sean. Oh! And we've heard him rap before. And he sucks. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you, please? How about a hamburger with some pickles and cheese? Yeah, that's what I be doing every day, all day up in this bad boy. And I'm just working here till my rap career take off. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? There you go, little boy. Enjoy the beats in that Happy Meal. I mean, enjoy the beef in that Happy Meal. <laughs> Whoa. Let me hear this straight. You want a McFlurry and an apple pie? Oh, you get two mixtapes for that. You get two mixtapes for that. Excuse me, ma'am, I don't think you got your mixtape. This is the McDonald's mixtape right here. Man, your sister want a mixtape? Give it. Hey, does your cousin want a mixtape, man? Let him hear this, man. Let him hear this. Hey, what up, cutie, man? You want a mixtape too, huh? No? Spitting your cheeseburger anyway. You need a mixtape, man. Did you get one? Oh, you need a key to the bathroom? Man, let me get you something better. Let me get you a mixtape. Man, somebody left this mixtape on the table. Man, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this till I get a hit, cause but up 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 up, I'm loving it. No, I don't have any beef or nothing, just french fries. And, uh, what is this? I got the, I got a mixtape. No, I can't believe it. I'm going to go play this. I got a mixtape. I got a mixtape. Unbelievable. Oh yeah yeah. And there you go, another episode. Man, that afro is itchy. Oh, I don't know how Don Cornelius did it for so many years. Woo. Anyway. Link to our channel, link to subscribe. Please join us, we'll have a video every single week so you won't miss one, but don't leave. We have bloopers coming up, but stay here for next week and I'll see you next time on this show, News Infused. I'm a silver fox, I'm a silver fox, I'm a silver fox, I'm a silver fox. He said he is not being ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. Did I ever tell you Hillary won a beauty contest? She was Miss Pig Farmer, 1967. Now last May, uh, now last May they hired a, now last May there's been a, now what's going on with former, that's a little too iggy miggy, that's not bad. Meets Bieber, Clinton meets Bieber, Clinton meets Bieber. Go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you stay. I mean, let me get you something.